This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing. Download a free color catalog today and learn how you can save by buying factory direct at westernstatesmetalroofing.com. So, John, you talked about how you made your wall, uh, made the walls of the house fireproof, and you have mock-ups. So this is a beautiful mock-up. Why don't you kind of explain it to us, please? Okay, so uh, basically this is the structure of almost everything that's on the outside of the house. This is the standing seam material that Western States Metal Roofing supplied to us. This is called Equitone. It's a 12 millimeter concrete board that is architecturally pretty. Um, and behind that, we'll skip this for now, but behind that is the um, Dens glass, which is a three quarter inch gypsum board. Um, this is basically what prevents any fire from getting through the house. Uh, and then behind that is my steel um, light gauge construction for my framing. Um, so the whole idea was to have everything on the outside of the house and the interior walls be zero fire propagating rated material. So I think where we would obviously start with is obviously the shell where the metal is, metal's not flammable. Um, and then behind all of that in what I have is called a rain screen design, a hollow space behind this material is this weather barrier. And this is a peel and stick weather barrier, fire, zero fire propagating rating. Uh, what that basically means, we'll try and see if the wind is less, not windy enough. We can basically put a flame on here. And as you can see, nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing. So the same thing with the metal. I could put it on here. I could put it on here. Um, I can put it on the gypsum board. Gypsum board is not going to burn. Metal framing isn't going to burn. The insulation, I have spray foam insulation, that's not flammable either. So the whole idea was to have a shell on the outside of the house where nothing is flammable. Zero fire propagated rating. This here is one additional layer behind the rock that you see here. I have a membrane that allows any moisture that gets between this concrete board and the gypsum board it allows air to be in between that space so if any me uh, measurable moisture gets in there it goes away but then on top of this is what the rock is on top of so none of this is flammable either so John, as we were talking about, one of the most important things you can do to make your house fire resistant is to use a metal roof. Why don't you tell us a little about this roof and why you chose it? Okay, so again, this is just a metal roof standing seam, a lot like what the exterior walls of the house are. Um, underneath this, there's just a weather barrier. It's a peel and stick material. And then underneath that, is a three quarter inch structural concrete board that has fiberglass mat embedded in it. Yeah, and when you talk about a class A fire rated roof, again, it's not just the roof as you were talking about, it's the system as a whole. If the roof is fireproof, but the stuff underneath it isn't, it doesn't do you any good. Yeah, it helps you, but it's not as good as everything. So John, no matter what you do, you, you've said that the windows are the weakest point of the house. And you've gone beyond, beyond over here with a three-pane window. Can you talk about a three-pane window, two-pane window, and anything else? Yeah, so uh, again, the idea would be that double pane's better than single pane, triple pane's better than double. Uh, for energy efficiency, I think most windows now are going to be required to be dual pane and usually they have a gas in, the, in between the panes. These windows in particular from this company, uh, they're European windows, um, they're actually quarter inch glass with each pane. 
So the idea would be that when the embers are blowing and when the wind is blowing at 100 miles an hour, things are flying through the air. And it's not to say that these can't break, but if it breaks and shatters the outside one, they're tempered. So hopefully the window will still stay intact, but it will still need to go through the second, the second pane of glass. So you talked about you know retrofits and things you can do to keep the embers from getting, getting inside. I see a perfect example of, of a screen here. Why don't, you, why don't you elaborate on that, please? So I don't remember the name of the company, but you can look them up by basically what I'm talking about. This is a screen that's going into the crawl space that's underneath the first floor of the house. Um, so this screen itself is a screen metal material that's been sprayed with a chemical that if I were to put this heat on it or a blowtorch, the actual chemical would start fizzing and it will literally close up the air gaps in the screen. So these are pretty much, I believe, gonna be standard requirement if not now, very soon, for any place, one of these screens would be either for a crawl space or for an attic space.